Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning with Leah. I'm so glad you could join me again today. So last week I posted some videos on kitchen vocabulary. And some people wanted to see vocabulary for other rooms of the house. So that is what we are doing today. So today we are in the bathroom. So let's get started with learning some new bathroom vocabulary. All right, let's first begin with towels. Towels. So towels we use to dry off our bodies after we take a shower. Towel. Towel. Okay. This you might see. This is called decoration. Decoration. So as a woman, I enjoy putting pretty things in my house to make the house look like a home. Um, and so we call pretty things, maybe a sign or um, a picture frame, for example, it is called decoration. Decoration. Next, we have blinds. Blinds. Blinds we use so that nobody can see inside our house. And also it keeps the sun from shining in the house. Blinds. Next we have the toilet. The toilet. So the toilet, this is the handle. Handle. This is the lid. Lid, the toilet lid. And then this is the toilet seat where you sit. Toilet seat. The toilet lid and the handle. Handle. Here we have the toilet paper. Toilet paper. Next we have lights. Lights. These are lights. We also have a hand towel. Hand towel. We use this to dry our hands. Hand towel. This is called an outlet. Outlet. Outlet we use to plug in our appliances. Outlet. Next, we have soap. Soap, right? We use to wash hands. Soap. Soap. This is a mirror. Mirror. It's a hard word. Let's say it again. Mirror. Mirror. Right? We use to look at ourselves. Mirror. Okay? This is called, this area is called a vanity. Vanity. So this is where there is a counter. This is the counter. And a sink. A sink. And drawers for you. So most bathrooms have a vanity that you can store items in. You can wash your hands and set things on. Vanity. Okay, this part is the faucet. Just like in the kitchen where the water comes out is the faucet. Faucet. All right, we also have shelving. These are shelves in here to store more items. Okay, these are shelves. Next, we have the shower curtain. Shower curtain. So the shower curtain um, protects from water getting outside of the shower. This is the shower. This is the shower. So when you want to get clean, you can do two things. You can take a shower, which means you stand under here and you clean your body. Or if you want to fill the bottom, the bathtub, this is the bathtub, 
If you put water in the bath, you can sit in there. You can say, I am going to take a bath. So you can take a shower right here, or you can sit in the tub and say, I'm going to take a bath. Take a shower or take a bath. Okay, so again, this is the shower, but also the bottom is the tub, the bath tub. Okay, so that is the last of the bathroom vocabulary. So let me know if you have any questions in a comment below. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.